It is finished. It is finished. Something Yahshua said hmm, that meant so much. You know, when you look at something being finished, you look at all what you go through, the pain, the suffering, the way people lie on you, beat you, mistreat you. But to come out and say it is finished, to overcome it all, to pave the way for salvation, no more need for animal sacrifices because Yahshua became the ultimate sacrifice. When he stood in place for me, for you, mm, it is finished. See, people have to understand, and I know a lot of people do understand, that you don't sin because you have to. Mm. You sin him because you want to. It is finished covers it all and says so much. He paved the way for you and I. The debt that I could not pay, mm. you couldn't repay it back. I couldn't repay it. So he don't owe me nothing. I owe him. To save your life, you shall lose it. And going along with that losing, you're going to lose family members, friends, people that was close to you. The walk going to get real slim. Mm. Your contact list going to get very short. People going to be against you. You already know it. You're going through it. People going to lie on you. People in the world going to look at you crazy. People in the church going to look at you crazy. When you take on this walk, just keep that in the back of your mind. It is finished. He conquered death. He redeemed us. He opened up the door for salvation. He went back for the loss. It is finished. Brother Waki, you asked me a question once again. Am I, am I, am I still being cursed? Am I under a curse because of what my father did? Because he was a bad man. He, you know, he died in prison. No, keep reading, brother. Read them scriptures I told you up to the third and fourth generation. That same Bible, the same book we talking about comes back and tell you, you are no longer responsible for, you are no longer responsible for your father's sins. So whatever your father done, he got answer to the Holy Spirit. It's not on you. This is why the Bible also says, work out your what? Own salvation. He didn't say work out your father's salvation. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. But it's finished. People choose to live in the curse. Somebody catch this. People choose to follow down the same path that their mom did, their dad did. If it, excuse me, if it was something wicked. You got the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit won't allow you to live in willfully sinning. To be cursed like you're talking about. A curse is the opposite of a blessing. See, I've realized the blessings that the Most High, these spiritual blessings that the Most High gives us, it's priceless. Our Savior paved the way once again. Oh, what a blessing. When he laid down his life, what a blessing. And it's sad that he's done all that and so many people still choose to use grace and mercy as a license to sin. Well, God know my heart. Do you know your heart? Hmm. Well, the Bible say my ways is not his ways. You know, such and such. And such. Man, let me tell you something. When you, when you misquote these scriptures, your ways is not his ways, why do you think the Bible say you have the mind of Christ? When you read that, my ways is not his ways, keep reading down and down and you're going to realize he's talking about an unbeliever. Ways is not his ways. How you going to follow somebody and you're not mimicking their ways? Just like your children, you know your child 
without even saying something. You can look at them and know when they're going to do wrong. You have the mind. The Bible says you have the mind of Yahshua. You have the mind. See, we all been, I'm not going to say we all, because I don't know everybody, but a lot of us was taught wrong. And then you, I'm closing, but you asked me about that Isaiah. Oh, by his stripes, stripes I am healed. That was not talking about a physical healing. Apply this in with that it is finished as I'm talking in this video. When he said by his stripes, by his stripes we are healed. That was a spiritual healing. You being freed up. You not being in sin. You having that re renewed mind. Your heart changing, so your actions changing. That is not talking about a physical healing in that scripture. But you can, you can, you can, ain't nothing wrong with a physical healing. But think about this as I close. Look at how many people are not in bad health and strength, but they got a bad spiritual heart condition. Their heart is messed up. And the Father knows the heart. That's why he said the, the word of Yah is sharper than any two-edged sword. It's sharper. It knows the intents of the heart. Piercing and, and even the, 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 the dividing shanta, or shanta, excuse me, as it says in scripture, of the soul and spirit, it knows the intents of the heart. That's the word. That's why he said, I will also put the word in your heart. You don't see me walking around with a Bible in my hand. I never walk around with a Bible in my hand. Never. Why? It's in me. See, what if right now, I'm closing, what if right now, in the next hour, all Bibles got taken away? They come to your house, take every Bible you got. Take every Bible out the store. Take away every Bible app that they have. How many people right now would have the word in them if the Bible was taken away in all kind of ways right now? Something to think about. Shalom, family.